what's good everybody welcome to episode 58 of team 100 tech talk as you have some up and coming young youtubers here to discuss the latest news and information in tech my name is rob pouncey aka rp3 tech reviews you are at my channel where i am hosting today uh, i'm going to start from the extreme left work my way back in the middle with the big fella the smooth talker and the cajun so y'all should get those hints and know who i'm talking about so first up <laughs> okay I, I look no i knew you were gonna do that What's going on, everybody it's your man bg uh how y'all feeling tonight i'm on instagram bg tech life twitter bg underscore tech life and i'm on youtube you just search bg tech life next up Hey, <laughs> we all messed up. Hey, everyone, this is Joseph from Forbes Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer. You can find me on Twitter at Forbes Reviews and Instagram TV at Forbes Tech Reviews. Let's have let's have some fun tonight. Episode fifty eight to the replay crew. Shout y'all out. Thank y'all for watching on the replay. Let's have let's have some fun tonight. Episode. Hey, why did I hear myself? I hear Don't worry myself. about it. Rob said so you can't get enough of the intro, man. You got to replay it one time. But uh, what's going on, everybody? This is Eric Kelly, a.k.a. The Tech Gentleman, and I guess a.k.a. The Smooth Talker now. Uh, <laughs> but you guys can find me on YouTube at The Tech Gentleman. You can find me on Instagram at The Tech Gentleman, Twitter at the underscore tech gent, and on Google Plus as well. I make YouTube videos, anything that lights up, flashes, blinks, you know. I like to look at it. Talk tech, man. Let's go. All right. Let's do an intro real quick for the – First, people who showed up. Oh, we got a troll in already. Uh, Six Luis. <laughs> Mark right. Turan, what's up? Tech for your needs. Will, what's good? <laughs> we already have a troll? I'm trying I, to shut this out. I don't even really know how to even, even uh, greet that. I don't even know. Just block it and move on, man. Block it and move on. Yeah, don't even put no in all right, I gotta add me some moderators in here. Let me get my man Six Luis. If I can get him to be a moderator. <laughs> All right. So, what's going on in tech today? Let's see what's going on. You know, we gotta talk about what happened on Wednesday, right? Y'all, you guys go ahead. I'm doing some maintenance on the screen here, so y'all go ahead and get it going. Do some maintenance. I know BG Tech Life is so excited. I know he's excited about that LG V40 BG. Don't don't lie. No, y'all. Listen, I don't want no damn Cyclops uh, phone. I'm sorry, it's oh. it's ridiculous. Wrong it's, uh And it's just too much. Two, three cameras, and for no reason, okay. three cameras to say I got three cameras or five cameras. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, come on out. And then there's an LG. Like I've. I, like all of my LG phones have had camera problems. Uh, the the V20, my G4. So I mean, why would now y'all got a third camera? Oh, that's that's <laughs> not. It's how you know, that quality control over LG is not that great to me. So I could see something failing. I could see like all I'm trying to autofocus at once, crashing, boot looping. You know what I mean? I no. Nah. I ain't with it. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to crash. Come on, man. And the G7 is a great phone. Just because you never got it doesn't mean that it's not a great phone. And what's wrong with the V40? Do five cameras? Come on. You know you want to take some selfies, send it to Leo and, and Rob and be like, hey, hey, guys, look at me. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's just not. I don't know. It's just like it's overkill. I mean, once you once Google did what they did with that Pixel, it's like, come on now, all these extra cameras don't mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel you, man. I feel you. I want to shout out uh, Android Studs in the building. YS is in the building. Mr. Guy Davis is in, in the building. Check for your knees. He wants us to talk about the LG watch. That's one thing we can talk about late in a little bit. Jason Gill's in the building. C double D's in the building. The tech lights in the building. Uh oh, celebrities in the chat. Mr. J Williams is in the building. 
Five up, cameras, God's sake, what are you going to use them for? Dookie's in the building. Man, everybody's coming to watch us tonight. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. Do five cameras. I think it's going to be pretty cool, but we will see. We'll do some tests. I'm trying to work on T-Mobile to get it for free, though. Well, not free, but I don't want to I don't want to pay a down payment. Hey, I made some of you guys uh, moderators in the stream. Mr. Davis, YS, uh, just go through and uh, take care of some of these trolls. They're hitting hard at night. I got you. But hey. yeah. I was gonna say don't I, even worry about that LG, man. They ain't gonna let you down. LG I, stands for L's galore. All right, they're gonna let you down in some way, somehow. They're gonna do that. It's like it's just like it's just like 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 Andrew Stud Andrew Stud just said, it's too much. It's like <laughs> get the you know, it's like I don't like a company that just is like, okay, let's just do a, something in abundance. To make to to sell, let's do let's do something in abundance to say we did it first. We're the first company to do you know, or the fir first major phone manufacturer to do it all. You know, to put three phone three cameras on the back of a phone. Like I I like refinement. Get the basics done really really good before you start adding the extras. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's something LG hadn't done very well. Like you look at LG's last three phones, it's like they're either the exact same phone, like the V35 and the V30 from last year, or it's totally different. Like you look at the maybe they'll continue next year, but you look at the G5, G6, and G7, like what are y'all doing? Well, the G6 was a good phone, the G7's even a better. Don't hate y'all need to y'all need to buy it. I mean, no, no, no. So, twenty dollars so, is a lot of money. I understand. Exactly. But, so, but, my thing is, what you can buy a brand new G7 for like five hundred dollars right now, and I'm rounding up. At what does LG think they're gonna put in this V40 to make it that much better than the G7? Because I agree, the G7 is a great phone. The price was just too high when it came out, but for five hundred dollars, I can't argue with that phone. Like it's it's got it's a good phone. The but you can, is, say, you, can say about, you can say that about hundred dollars better. You can say that about the Nate, the Note Nine. I mean, I can get a Note Eight for five hundred bucks right now. Is the Note is the Note Nine four hundred dollars better than the Note Eight? No. It's clear. The Note Eight, out, the Note 8 right. is better. Than, the Note Nine is better than Note Eight in every category. Like more storage, more RAM, better processor, better screen, bigger screen. Like I'm talking about the difference between the G7, which has the same exact processor. Okay, how yeah, much how much you can get the, how much can you get the nine the S9 plus four? The S9 plus four? Uh probably six like something? 600. Yeah, so six is, something? is the note nine three hundred and ninety nine dollars better than the S9 plus? Yeah. Yes. No, it's it, not. It, it's yes. not. Y'all bullshit. Yes. So, see, so you get double the so you nothing? get double the storage going from an S9 to a, to a note nine at a storage? minimum. How much porn do you keep? You don't have to download porn. You go so, to but X but you ask what the differences were. We're not talking about what you can add on. We're talking about when you go in the store and what they charge you for. Okay, so you're on the phone, double, not what you can go storage, buy later. Double the storage is worth three hundred dollars more. Double the storage, bigger screen, S Pen, and that functionality. That's easily three hundred dollars worth. Because the thing 4, is, million battery. Yeah, I mean it's it's a clear step above the S Nine Plus. It's not like last year where the differences are small. It's a clear difference between the two phones. I don't think so. I don't. Different. I mean, it has the S Pen, man. That's the only difference. That, oh, it has the S Pen and yeah. more RAM and, 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 screen, the and, the, and the battery and is big. Battery. Like, how does it have more? Don't the S9 Plus have six and my Note 9 has six? Don't get me wrong, the Note 9 is a great phone, but you can't compare mm -hmm. the G7 to the uh, the, the V40 out. don't even compare to the Note 9. Right. Like, it's it's not I even know, a comparison. The, v, the V40 is like the amount better. They literally took the they took the G7, added a camera on the back and the front, and charged nine hundred some dollars for it. Okay, so the the V40 is nine nine twenty on T-Mobile. I paid nine hundred ninety nine dollars on T-Mobile for my Note Nine. Why is the Note Nine worth seventy nine dollars more than because of the S Pen? Because of the S Pen, because of the battery, because of the screen. I give you like, the battery. It has a bigger like, battery. I mean, like there are definitely things on the Note 9 that you can't replicate on any other phone. 
Yeah, the pen. I feel like if that's important to you, then it's worth the money. But the like the the like LG's problem is the things that they put on their phone, they haven't made them appeal to mainstream people yet. Because the thing is, regular people, like if you use an iPhone or you use a Galaxy, you used to pointing your phone to something and taking a picture and having a great picture come out. But the second you start having to go into all these controls and options, like regular people don't care about all that. Because right. the thing is, you can't reproduce that. You can't show that value to people. That's that's what LG is missing right now. But the cameras are going to be. You can't ask ask Eric. We need easy on. We need easy on here. He produces all his videos with the G7. I'm not denying the capability yeah. of with the cameras. Yeah. It's he just I'm said saying, it's hard to replicate that to the average consumer. Yeah. Well, the average consumer needs to get smart and, and catch up. Um, so, so if an average consumer has a Pixel, or they have an iPhone, or they have a Galaxy, what are you going to verbally tell them about they, the V40? They out. I'm, I'm going to plug my headphones in. I'm going to plug my Bose headphones in to the headphone jack because, mm. you know, if you have the iPhone, they don't have, a, they don't have the headphone jack. And I'm going to say, mm. listen to the sound. And they're going to be like... So you assume everybody's an audiophile. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's everybody, not, I think everybody is an audio file, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. I think I, they they may have more audio files than than you know some other people, but everybody listens to music, man. They sound everybody great, but they, but if you can't just justify paying an extra price for a phone, because the thing is, you can listen to music on other phones. Like the only real benefit is if you have like some higher end headphones or something like that, you can drive them with the V series phones or any of the LG phones. But if you just got some, you know, crappy earbuds or something like that, which most people do, it's not even going to make that big of a difference. See, C double like, said, you see with his comments, they said, y'all assuming everyone uses the S pen. The point is the S pen is there whenever I need it or whenever I decide to use it. It's a, it's a luxury. And, yeah. and, and that luxury stays with the phone. So yeah, exactly. it doesn't matter how often I use the S Pen. Yeah, and the thing is, if you don't use the S Pen, you should probably, you know, look at a Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus or something like that. Right. No, you can definitely put a price on it because anytime the Apple came out with an iPad and then they said this stylus that's specifically for an iPad is $99 and Samsung gives you a, a stylus with, with remote control features and, you know, uh, so accurate that you can create art with it. You can put a price on that. Yeah, definitely. Hey, and Guy David said, I've just seen the videos on the V40. He's glad he's got his S9 Plus. It's a better phone. Samsung deal is sweet right now. I guess, yeah, with the Note 9, you can trade in and get double. Yeah. Uh, YS says HTC for the win. Yes. I, I just need to know what their expenses are because <laughs> I think the report show they, they made like $69 million in revenue. I'm like, damn, if I made $69 million in revenue, I'd be pretty good off, you know, but I think mm -hmm. we need to cut back on the spend. I have a trip planned. I'm going to go meet them uh, next week. Next week. So, yeah. you know, we're going to yeah, do go something. You know, yeah, go holler at them, man. Tell them to put their phones in stores. Stop tripping. Definitely. <laughs> uh, Six Lewis said, I think the V4 is a niche phone for an audiophile or a photographer or a YouTuber. People could care less if it has five cameras, just the way it is. Yeah. I mean, the I think LG, like their issue with the V-series phones, they try to price them with the iPhones and the Notes. The problem is the G7, like the G-series phones aren't terrible. Like last year, they weren't, you know, the G6 wasn't terrible. And this year, the G7 is, uh, it's a nice phone. It's a nice piece of hardware. And when you try to tell somebody like, yeah, you can either buy this one for like $500 or we got this one for 900 And I'm like, well, what's the difference? Like, well, I know this one got two cameras, but this one got three. And this phone has the boom box speakers, just like the $900 one. And it's got the nice headphone jack and it's got the nice, you know, mics and good cameras and the notch on the screen. Like the difference has become very minimal at that point because they run the same software. It's like they're just trying to throw something out there. Just to say they got something coming out in October. All right, we got a pause for the call. Scales and Moors, aka Chicago Herbs, $4.13. Okay. Super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Chat wide open, y'all. Super chat. chat. We appreciate it. RP3 tech reviews really appreciates it. 
KB's in the building. What's up, KB? What's up, KB? So sorry. I'm taking hey, her name by mistake. I hit her name by mistake trying to get rid of that that foul name uh, <laughs> at trolling me. And I put KB in timeout by mistake, and I want to apologize to her. Second, yeah, second I, I was wondering why you lighting KB up, man. I, I, I was, you know how you line up those three dots on the end, but it kind of off center, and you're thinking you're clicking on one YouTuber, and you're clicking on something. That's why, you know, and then I hit it. I said, oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no bg oh, uh, i need to be wearing my glasses <laughs> you always got to go with the old jokes i got something i wanted to say right um right. As, as far as that as far as that uh v40 goes um i think lg they was in a really good place when they released that v20 like and the, and I'm Ooh. not even when the V20 first came out, a lot of people realized uh, the V the V20 was a gem. Like later on, like like maybe like right before, like not too long before the V30 came out, a lot of people start picking up the V20 and start like yeah, like really like getting to it and using it for what it was used for. You know, um, I think they but what they dropped the ball though is. The, like like um the tech gentleman said the price you know um obviously lg like you're not you your brand when it comes to mobile devices is not that of a samsung or iphone it's not the big three right. it's the big two you know what i mean so the mm -hmm. way the only way they're gonna move in is to undercut you know undercut samsung but you know it's just like they got to come up with a solid product, do some better advertising. But the V series is good phones, but now it's just like almost like like three cameras is not a gimmick, but at the same time, it's a gimmick. Like, is you know, and then it's, it's running on specs. I would have waited. Like, you running on specs of your last phone, com like completely. Like, it's it's just it's just out of I I just let me ask you I'm, a question. Do you think? with lg's problem is let's say like people who are in our chats they watch our videos and they see us kind of crushing lg and you know and then with lg's history with you know the g4 having the class action lawsuit and then it filters down to them and then that information filter out to the non-tech person when they hear about when they're asking them like hey man what about this new lg v20 is that a hot phone Say nah, man. They killing it on YouTube. Don't even mess with it. Blah blah blah. Do you think that information just keep filtering down, down, down to the low information people, and that's what's killing LG also too? Um, I think I was gonna say I think it's a little bit of that, but I think the more overwhelming thing is advertising. Like between Apple and Samsung, they're advertising. They smothering you. Like they constantly in the news about something. Mm -hmm. And that's not even advertising they're paying for, but then you know they got the commercials, they got you know billboards and airports and Times Square and stuff like that. And even Google with the Pixel last year when the you know the Pixel two and two XL came out, you know they had the Pixel two and two XL everywhere. Like if you watch Blackish, that's the only phone they was using. They was even yeah. selling you know doing uh you know Hey Google <laughs> in the TV show and stuff. And then the commercials would go right into you know some sort of Google branded commercial so i think lg and that's another reason why i feel like lg you just can't charge what everybody else charging because you're not making the moves they they making like you're not shouldn't doing what they L doing shouldn't lg <laughs> instead of giving when they're giving you free tvs when you bought a phone shouldn't they have been giving you a free phone if you bought one of the tvs i think a buy one <laughs> get one is always a nice start you know i because, mean because ultimately like they want people using their phone so if i right. give every one person to come in and buy one two Chances right. are you'll give it to somebody else and they'll use it in. Hey, I, I like JQ's uh, comment. If Samsung Note comes out with three cameras, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Because they got the money to take hey, that. Mike, Mike drop. <laughs> bam. But Appreciate they got the money to tell you that. But how, but how is it the best thing since sliced bread? Even if the picture oh, I mean, the camera is still on. If Samsung would do it, y'all would be like, oh my God, did y'all see? Oh, the Note's coming with three cameras. Isn't that awesome, y'all? And so, like, who, hey, so who said anything about the note having two cameras? But if we said it was awesome, you think we're just saying it to be saying it? Yes, that would be. Oh my like, God, you, you killed all my credibility. You just, <laughs> I, 
I, I'm just, <laughs> but no, he, he has a good point though. If the Note 10 comes out with three cameras, it's gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. Because Why? not, but nine times out of ten, there's gonna be a reason for it. Like, if it, I, mean, like I don't think I anybody. I don't think anybody has ever seen it that the the, the note is the best because you know it's what? got two cameras. Like, and, and just, just everybody like, agrees just that like the pictures are like the best pictures. The, the one plus five had like eight gigs of RAM. Why do we need eight gigs of RAM? Why do you need six gigs of RAM? That nope. was the S nine plus comes that. out. The S nine plus comes out with oh, that's the best thing. That Samsung needs it. Oh, it's so great. And, I don't think oh, I don't yeah. think you ever heard anybody say yeah, that's like too much RAM in the Android, Android community. No, we've been talking to Apple people. <laughs> y'all, y'all was dogging every. I could let me go. Yeah, down. Was, who was hey, dogging one plus six? Real, hey, real five, quick. Five, hey, five, hey five. Fours, Let me stop your rant real quick. L let me. I want to go I'm, pull up some. Uh, I need. I need to give respect to Mrs. Tech gentleman. Mrs. Ashley Kelly has checked in and said oh, hello. Ashley, That's all I'm Ashley doing. Kelly's in there. I, I, I yeah, got. I appreciate that. I got to definitely. Yeah. That's respect definitely a good reason to pause for the cause right there. Respect all the wives. Exactly. <laughs> hey, but you know what, Forbes? You, you know what the crazy thing is, right? Like, I guess that comment was meant for for me and Eric. And I would like, you know, I would say this: we are the thing about Samsung, right? We're critical on Samsung devices. People that buy Samsung devices are critical on Samsung devices. And the tech gentleman had a one plus. He's got a one plus. Six, I'm not, I'm and he gave it a big. He gave it a big shout out. I'm not so, saying one plus six. When the one plus five was coming out, or even one plus three T, I think had six gigs of RAM, or eight gigs of RAM. Everywhere on YouTube, why does a phone need six gigs of RAM? It's it was the first time attempting it. You know they don't need to do it. Six gigs of RAM is just an overkill. The no, S9, the S9, thing. S9 Plus comes out with six years. Oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Okay, that's that's because, because, let me, that's there was a was reason was behind lying. 3T. They needed it. Hold yeah, up, 3T it. was stock Android. So it was almost, it was a reason for people saying so that was too much for stock. Y'all going to do the same thing with Samsung need more RAM based on the skin. Because they lag. Lag fest. Nah. Well, duh. <laughs> Oh, I'm just having fun. Just actually, I'm just trolling y'all. Come on, let's have some. You trolling us? But I was saying we were complaining about when, more RAM. Hey, you didn't get mad when HTC did it. Hey, hey, we're not talking about <laughs> HTC right now. <laughs> we're talking about the V4. I'm trying to make y'all, man. V V40 will be the phone of not the year. <laughs> I don't okay. for that for. Oh my it won't, it won't you can't the even. Uh, Is the HTC U11 your 2018 phone of the year? No, <laughs> My Note Nine is the phone of the year. <laughs> exactly. The One Plus Six T, the One Plus Six T probably will be the phone of the year. Oh, okay. You know, that's yeah, a whole different cool. subject, though. This Six T will drop if the cameras, if the, if they can bump the cameras up a little bit, it'll be a contender. As long as the price don't get too out of hand, I feel like with them going to care store, yeah. they're gonna have to raise the price up though. It costs money to come over here in the U.S. Yeah, will said the Samsung needs eight gigs of RAM. Yeah, it does. Yeah, dude, I mean, that's dude. why it's a big deal. But, see the thing. but just because it has it, like it's not like oh, it's got eight gigs. It's the best. It's like finally, <laughs> finally. Right. Right. yeah. The <laughs> one plus six T. Only thing about the one plus six T going to the car, going to the T Mobile. Now, one plus six T. It strongly now we it's never really been the best phone of the year as far as one plus devices go, mm -hmm. but. It's always been the value, like the best value. Yeah. So, it, you know what I'm saying? I hope they don't raise the price up too much, and, and don't you know improve the phone enough to 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 you know explain the raise of that price. Shoot that self in the foot. Now was not even the you know the great value that it was because that's what it started as. What was the first one plus phone like two ninety nine? Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? They get too far away from that roots. They can shoot that self in the foot. Yeah. Shout out to the tech leaks. Just hopped in the stream. What's up, guys? What up? What up? What up? What up? Guy Davis said, Amen. BG, we are critical of Samsung devices because we expect excellence. Well, yeah, everybody strives for that perfect phone. We want that perfect yeah. phone. Is, yeah. is there a perfect phone out there, though? Nope. That's why, if it was, we wouldn't be no YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, buy this one, damn everything else. All right. <laughs> 
But uh, the one, I mean, like to me, the one plus six T and the Pixel Three is fighting for my stock Android money. It's between those two to close out the year for me. Pixel Two XL. <laughs> when that three drop, I'm eyeing a two XL. Man, they done snatched all those out of Verizon. Yeah, man, they tripping, man. They trying to take that uh well hell, I guess it's the one plus route. Google pulling a one plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, I'm gonna be looking to give me a second hand. I don't even need the XL, matter of fact. I just want the camera. Yeah. That's all I want because I don't see a camera coming out that's gonna beat it without a whole bunch of gimmicks. And then you know whatever software, because Google's gonna put out a very simple phone, right? One camera on the back, one on the front, and everything's gonna be done in software. And you know the two XL and the two is gonna get their software, so it's like I'm, mm. I'm not gonna buy no ugly hardware. But the one plus is giving you one sweet gimmick, and that's the fingerprint and the sensor with stock Android in the that I mean in the display, fingerprint in the display. I mean, I don't really like stock Android, so what like, well, I'm saying they they're stock, you know, you got just a hint of, yeah, you got uh, some some nice touches. Touches, okay. yeah, um, access the phone. Yeah, that's but, what I'm I don't know that price. Then you gotta look at it like the uh pixel is gonna be like a thousand dollar phone. Yeah. So shout, shout that, out to Uno Nice in the yeah. building. Yeah, what up, Uno? What up, Uno Nice? What, what up, what up? What but up? that fingerprint in the display is gonna be the memoji of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> memoji, everybody <laughs> people was justifying purchasing their iPhone just because of that. So that's what this, the in in screen display fingerprint sensor is gonna be on the one plus six. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one plus six T and make some type of gate fingerprint scanner gate. <laughs> some, you know, but it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be like, okay, you can't put a, you can't put a, uh, 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 what is it? You're not gonna be able to put a screen protect. You can't put a screen protect on it. I'm gonna make some type of screen gate. Protect. Screen protect <laughs> gate. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give me a like uh Lou from Unbox Therapy and be like, yeah, look at this, it's a problem. <laughs> I, 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 got, I, I got 20 phones. Look, <laughs> it doesn't work on either one. Right, exactly. right. Look, it doesn't work hey. on here. It doesn't work on here. Come on, one plus. BG, I'm gonna make a rebuttal to you. Hey BG, I'm gonna make a rebuttal to your video, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna make a rebuttal so, to y'all. Hey, y'all both can act like y'all beefing out. <laughs> so, so what y'all think why are we gonna do though oh yeah i've seen that may 20 though that was, yeah, with the fork yeah. is that a crap load of cameras too yeah I, I well just the the bezel i mean it looks like the bezel's like almost not there in the front yeah i mean if they take that uh that oppo kind of look or is it, you know, it, it teardrop. like a teardrop yeah and if they do that you know that'll be i don't know that's, that's gonna be kind of tough that would be in Best Buy real soon, yeah. won't it? That may probably uh possibly. I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen anything else about them being totally banned from the US. So they might sneak another one in there. <laughs> Magic Check Review say he's gonna make a response first to BG. <laughs> <laughs> I got that some type of listen. Next phone I get, I'm coming up with some type of gate. I'm gonna find <laughs> some problem. Whether it's the charger, I'm a bend the phone. I don't give a fuck. I need to <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse hey, me, BG. Rob. I forgot. I forgot we on Rob's set. You can cuss. I don't care. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, Let hey. it go. Talking about Rob grown, man. Why I said why I said me eight for the win. The me eight. I, I think that's yeah. we we I need to do I need, I need, I need to more Huawei. Device. Yeah, John me devices too. Yeah, I got I did one John me this year. I might go ahead and jump back in there. Yeah, you know? I, need to, I, I just need to start getting more budget phones, man. Cause that's how Adam blew up last year, man. Honor device eight. Honor eight. Yeah. yeah. Honor. Honor. Oh, Honor eight. Phone. Since we're gonna do the budget phone, what about then Nokia seven dot one? That looked tough. And that uh, y'all seen that leak for that G, that Motorola G seven? Yeah. Yeah. Seven plus, uh, the seven plus one I pre-ordered today from Amazon. Oh yeah. It's shipping. The, it's shipping right after my iPhone comes too. Damn. Uh, I, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got buy the iPhone too. Oh, damn. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll be back. That's a, that's a whole nother, <laughs> I need to go do some thing, side man. jobs really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put that minivan in use. <laughs> now, nah, but uh, the seven plus one looks pretty nice. I got the silver one. It's got a little gold trim on it. It's Android oh, yeah. one, so it's basic. 
you know, guaranteed mm-hmm. updates for the next couple of years. They yeah, look cool, man. I mean, for a budget for three hundred forty nine dollars, we'll see how. The only thing is, I mean, three forty nine you could get that Poco phone, but it has a Snapdragon oh. six thirty six processor. Yeah. Three thousand yeah. something milliamp battery. The cameras are supposed to be pretty good. Poacher yeah. Critic says that Nokia seven one is built like a bigger iPhone SE. Yeah, look like the build on it because even that um. What was the other Nokia? It's kind of like a brown kind of The caramel. 6.1. I think it was, yeah. was it the 6.1. Is that it the was, one they were yeah. selling in uh, Best Buy for like 200 Yeah, something? it was like that black was, and like a copper look. Yeah, yeah. That was a nice feeling phone, man. That was, a, that was some good build quality. I can appreciate oh. that. So we got uh, Gadget Beard just jumped in. Magic Tech is still in here with us. Magic Post Tech said I'm already working on the Pixel 3 gate even before the phone comes out. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some type of gate. I'm just going as soon as I get the phone, I might just buy the Pixel 3 first day out and just be like, look, like yeah, I mean, I just might blew the screen out. Blew the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happening again. Right. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> right there, cuz. Right. I'm just hey, you need to see if it's uh you need to see if it's uh if it's Rottweiler poof. <laughs> it's right waterproof. Uh, my yeah. Yeah. right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out. Let them get at it. Uh, it don't stand a chance, bro. <laughs> hey, there you go, man. That's what I'm do. I'm just hey, gonna get whenever it. You don't, hey, whenever you don't like a phone, you just need to throw it to your Rottweiler and let them destroy it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> nah, that might not be too good though. Don't yeah, the yeah. part dog eat the battery and right, right. Then I gotta pay three thousand dollars <laughs> to get the battery removed from his stomach. Uh, <laughs> he stick to his treats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you, you call yourself your phone. The phone rings in his stomach. <laughs> right. Oh I'm yeah, man. Down. People out here that would be at you too. Animal hey, cruelty hey, and all that. Uno yeah. Nice is asking. Um, he's asking for our advice on a question. Right. Question Pixel 2 XL or Pixel 3 XL? Is the Pixel 2 XL battery life okay? Screen issues fixed. I don't know. Thinking price drops, I might go for it. Man, if you listen to a uh, tech gentleman, then he says the Pixel 2 XL. Yeah. I mean, as long as you don't mind like a refurbished or used device, I think that the Pixel 2 XL would be like 90% of what the 3 XL is going to be. If you can find it new or in yeah, good shape. I think new for like. Cause that three XL is gonna be high, man. It's gonna be disrespectful, especially if you're on a carrier. Like if you're on five or something like that, you buy it unlocked. Maybe Google will toss you a bone if you trade in your two XL if you got one. But if you don't, if you just don't have any pixel, you're trying to go like off the street to a pixel. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be tough to justify the the three XL. I don't know. They might do some, you know, kind of sneaky stuff like they did with the two XL last year and have some little piece of hardware in there chilling. They're going to give you a half off because I don't think they expect that to sell. Yeah, I don't even know if Google really has cared about sales. I think they've cared about establishing like a reputation in the brand. Hey, but do we know how the battery life on the Pixel 2 XL was? I don't, I never had the phone, so y'all had, well, I know. The battery it, life was good. Battery life was good. Yeah. Everybody just hated the, uh, the tent. And the phone was, everything else was above board. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this: I play with a two XL almost every day because my homie he just bought one like full price at work. He sit right right next to me, mm. and so I I play with it a little bit. It's a uh, I mean it's it's nice nine fifty. I couldn't imagine paying that though. Yeah. What's up, Big John Tech Reviews? Just popped in. Uh, Gadget B said the Pixel Three XL. So Uno Nice, I think what you hear from the panel is that the Pixel 2 XL will be your best buy. Yeah. I mean, that's from coming from the panel. To me, it, I, I don't like buying last year's devices. I like buying the new year. So I'm going to probably get the 3 XL, but that's just me. Yeah. You know. We ain't balling yeah. like that, Forbes. Uh, I ain't really with it. I ain't, I ain't with the, uh, I, me. For some reason, like, I, I that's what I want to go with too. The Pixel Two XL, because for some reason, I'm just not for from all these leaks, which uh, you know, they always they today these these days and times, the leaks always end up looking pretty much what the phone look like. I'm not impressed. 
you know what I mean? But I want a phone that I can get my stock Android fix on and, you know, my betas and stuff like that. Um, my Nexus 6P is dead. You know. <laughs> it oh. died? It died on you? No, it's not dead. It's just it won't be getting up. Oh, yeah, it won't be getting up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on 8.1, and that's the furthest that Google's going to take it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not like trying to rhyme or root it or nothing with newer versions of Android. I really want just the, you know, well, the stock Android update. I need a phone that I can get the newest Android on when it drops. So yeah, I probably, I got to replace that. And, you know, I'm not pressed for the new, the new Pixel, even though, like, the Nexus 6P was the best Google phone that was ever produced. It was the best as far as price value, because what they dropping now was like hit and miss. Hmm. Hey, uh, Uno Nice has a better question. I even think he said the Pixel 2 XL or the One Plus 6T. Ooh, 6T. <laughs> it depends on what the 6T costs. Because I, I'll take uh, One Plus's iteration of stock Android over basic Android any day, any day of the week. Like they they have optimized the crap out their software, man. It's but but the cameras though. I mean, y'all. Well, Robin and Alan and the, uh, the, and the, the, camera. the, the one plus his cameras weren't bad, right? I mean, like once oh, no, you I mean, like, especially once you go up to in that storage and you know you're doing 4K 60 for video. The only only I can't even call it a weak spot. The only spot where it wasn't really competing with. The higher end handsets was the photos, like the six. Um, and I put up a video test on my channel. The six, the focusing on it, the autofocus. I don't know if they need. I don't know. I don't need know if they need to go to like some sort of laser assisted or I don't know if they're using you know dual phase or what. But the autofocus was not up to snuff. Beast Mode eighty two just jumped in. What's up, Beast Mode? He said he thinks the Razer phone is better than the Google Pixel two, beside <laughs> but just the camera. Is, is that is that my project 13 with a different uh, name? Uh, Be smooth. <laughs> the Razor phone. I hadn't heard that. And that phone's on clearance right now. It's like 49. Yeah, yeah. the new Razor 2 supposed to yeah. be coming out real soon. But yeah, the like Razor exactly phone is a, right? is a gamer's phone to me. I think I mean that, that 120 hertz screen though is yeah. nice. Yeah. That's nice. And it's got like eight gig of RAM on it. Yeah. That's my gig of storage. Yeah, they so, just yeah. So Uno nice go with the 60, man. If you see I think the 60 would be yeah. the better choice, at least to me. But one plus six T, good choice and good resale value. That is oh, yeah, true. Resale gonna be locked in because yeah. yeah, you're gonna have a real good resale value on that well, 60. Unless unless T Mobile does a buy one, get one uh, free. Yeah, that is the thing, because it's not in the carrier, ain't been no sales. Like one plus ain't putting no fire sale on to get rid of no stock. But if, so T so Mobile does that buy one, get one free. All the employees gonna have the six T on swapper for like five hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Yeah, <laughs> but they but still one plus has a good job of inventory control. So, so you you think it is not gonna send them that many? <laughs> They're not gonna send them that many. <laughs> They Dang, might not. Each store gonna get fifty just to start off. <laughs> About 50. Maybe, maybe twenty, ten, that's something high. like that. I was gonna say fifty is high, boy. That's uh, like twenty, ten. Yeah, I said they send them a nice round ten. ten five, five yeah. a store. See how it goes. Ten each store to see how it goes, and then yeah, KB the people that the, the, the benefit for one plus yeah. is they know everybody that wants a one plus already knows how to get one. Yeah. So T Mobile is just a little bit of extra surface area. And extra right. advertising, so right? That's the an interesting spot. Yeah, yeah the six T should be a good phone. Should be. When yeah, you, isn't it come? Well, isn't it's, it released or are they talking about it, it on the seventeenth of October? Uh, I think there's still rumors. I don't think they've confirmed anything yet. Oh uh, yes, Uno Nice answer uh, the question. Uno Nice is saying uh, Wants to know the one plus six T is compatible with AT T. Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah, it is compatible with all GSM networks and what have you. Yeah. Now yes. it'll it'll be interesting next year. Verizon is supposed to go to start selling LTE only phones. Mm -hmm. LTE is GSM. So if they go LTE only, and you're doing voice and data over LTE, then you'll be able to pop a Verizon sim in there and talk and text wow. on top of data. 
Because that's right now, if you got a one plus six, pop a Verizon SIM in, all you get is data. All you get is LTE. So you know, if they do that, that'll put some Verizon people you know, in the game. Yeah. Like me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like me. Yeah. Tech, tech for your needs wants to know. Let's talk about 5G, how the price is going to go up in service to me, the man of 5G. And I, how long it takes for them to roll it out? Yeah, I mean, it depends. Worry about 5G. If, they roll, if they're rolling out a true 5G spec, like, and not doing what they did. You remember when 4G first came out? Yeah. And basically, AT&T was like, yeah, we got 4G. And then some kind of way they was like, oh, yeah, now we got 4G LTE. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> got two, right. 4G? Like, what's right. going on? They had the HASPA or the HSPA. Yeah, HSPA Plus telling people, yeah, it's the same as 4G. Like, nah. So no. that's the- yeah. So if they rolling out real 5G, they putting some money down. And I'm so sure they're going to try to recoup going, it. Going in, yeah, is it going to increase the price? Most definitely. You know Verizon do that just because of you know waking up hey, oh we we verizon raise the price <laughs> yeah but uh yeah I, it was also too man you know it just it just depends on how they roll it out it always end up in a couple of cities two years earlier and then they're allowed to advertise that the you know 5g is out in the phone companies they're not gonna uh how many 5g phones is out now only one or two that one the one with the uh, Motorola, the what the Z three or whatever that yeah. they came out with, with the with the with the mod on the back for five yeah. G. It comes with the mod and five G not even out. Exactly. So, well, they um didn't Verizon light up five G in a couple cities already? I'm or they, not sure. or they just announce which cities oh. they're gonna do. I think they I'm just announced sure. it. I don't no. think I don't think anybody came out. I know T Mobile and Sprint's that's their biggest sell to the government is that they're going to be able to roll it out quicker. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fake news because Sprint ain't equipped to roll out nothing. No. By well, then, they should be bought up. <laughs> what they, what they, they had Y-Max. They had LTE suck. He said Y-Max. <laughs> Bro, that was so late. They were like, yeah, we're the first ones of 4G. You got Y-Max. And then everybody started smacking them in the face of the LTE. Then they Man, tried to they slide the LTE in there. In the Y-Max. <laughs> Hey, right. big big dogs! Is, big dog is in the house. Big dog, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. big dog in the building. What man, up? Man. Uh, that was funny right there, man. They put all their money. They hedge all their money. That's why. That's part of the reason why they in trouble now. Oh yeah, they never recovered from that, man. They invested so much money in that YMAX network. It was terrible. Oh my god. Let me go. Let me go down the comments real quick. Uh, go ahead. Rob, go ahead. You're cool with that? Yeah. Culture yeah, yeah. critic okay. says the Verizon. Oh, why am I getting an oh, echo? Yeah, I okay, that now. now it's gone. Now the echo is gone. But um, culture critic. Okay, the Verizon Pixel 2 XL works on GSM networks. Yes, sir. Um, a lot of those Verizon phones come unlocked. Like, you know what I mean? They yeah. come out the box. They, they, you know, they ready to go. Uh. Yeah. Jason Gale said, okay, yeah. He, he said the same thing. I said they had Wimax. Uh Patrick Bottom said 5G evolution. Uh is oh Gadget said it's too early for 5G. Um, yeah, it is definitely too early in the game. They gotta I, I, I don't want anything that's half bait, you know. Right. Uh me too. Uh, God David says me too, Verizon. Uh that's good news about LTE. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see them go all the way LTE so we can, you know, I could put a OnePlus 6T <laughs> on my, uh, I could throw a Verizon SIM card in there. But, yeah. um, okay. Then we're going from that. Okay, big dog in the building. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Matthew said, that's a dope hat, BG. Okay, yeah, you know. <laughs> polo, you know, I wear a lot of polo and whatnot, things of that nature. Um Okay, and KB says the only problem she's had so far with her XS is the screen freezing. Anybody had? Well, I think Forbes, yours is on the way. Tech gent, he he didn't pick up one. Rob, you had any problems with your XS with the with the screen freezing or or any? You know, <clears throat> no, nah, no problem, no problem at all. No, 
Hey, no, nah, mine's been running pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it, but you know, I'm I'm not a heavy user, so I'm just more or less just um just pretty much just using it as you know one of my daily drivers. Okay, all right. I, yeah, I, really I had haven't no... had any problems with my uh with my uh iPhone ten X Max either. Except for the charge gate, the bend gate and everything else, but no. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the trolls are out heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wanted to say um just as a precaution, if you're trying to buy a Verizon phone and use it on a different carrier, Verizon phones are unlocked, but they started this thing earlier this year where you have to put a Verizon SIM in it first before it'll unlock. So it ships locked. And then once you activate it on Verizon, mm-hmm. it, un- it unlocks. Then you can put whatever SIM in it you want. Okay, so if you bought a Verizon unlock phone? If you just bought it, because you know, uh, for the past couple of years, Verizon phones has been unlocked out the gate. Like oh, okay. Out the box, you take it out, put a different SIM in it from AT&T mm-hmm. or somebody, and it works. Right. But um, earlier this year, they said for security reasons, they're going to start shipping their phones locked to Verizon. And then whenever it's activated on Verizon, then it'll unlock. Oh, okay. Because I guess people like walking up on the doorstep and taking the phone, popping AT and T SIM in and rocking out. Mm-hmm. And it's nothing Verizon can do at that point. They can't send a remote signal to it or nothing. So, oh, okay. Uh, in order, in order to kind of verify that it's reached its destination to its Verizon customer, they lock it until a Verizon, you know, okay. SIM is put in it. Then Ver- they it. Verizon playing tricks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean I, it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense because I just when I bought my iPhone, um, it was a uh, I bought the iPhone, got the iPhone, boom, 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 and I left it in the box. And my iPhone was an upgrade on my previous uh, iPhone or whatever like that. But um, they cut. They actually, as soon as I got the new iPhone, they cut the old iPhone off. Normally, I'm used to. Having my if as long as I don't take the phone out the box, that the previous phone that I upgraded off of remains on, and nothing, you know what I mean, until I open the box up and put the SIM card in to activate the phone. But like lately, like I see they they like are real on some real controller type stuff with these phones. It's just they not just letting them go out into the wild. Like they trying to you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame them though. Culture critic said he's having charge gate issues with his XS Max. Oh, the charge gate. Uh-oh. Charge gate. <clears throat> well, hey, that's, that's BG's going away for his uh. His- no, nah, but you know everybody, you know what the charge gate is all about. I try to explain it. I think Tony Pazzo was worried about it and some other stuff, but it's just a poorly implemented security feature that they got to fix. No. That's gonna be fixed with a- Well, so you talking about that little switch in the settings? Yeah. Well, what happened was you remember um, it's people that it's people that's having that issue, and yeah. they're saying regardless of the setting, it's still doing it. But I mean, I I got the twelve point one beta, and you know, and I've and everything Apple Pro and a few of them Apple guys say it was fixed in the beta. Oh, okay, so it might be. I mean, it's so always it's on, software its, on its way out to the public. Yeah. But you know, the FBI, remember they forced Google and Apple. To give them workarounds to get into people's phones who were criminals, and mm-hmm. I think Google kind of rolled over and gave it to them, but Apple said no. Yeah, and they Apple got this, didn't, yeah, because they got this machine called a gray box or something where you plug into the lightning port, mm-hmm. and it just bombarded it with passcodes until it gets in. It's just brute force; it works its way in. And uh, mm-hmm. I think Apple, what they meant to do was. If your phone is locked or, or in a sleep mode for more than an hour, you would need to get into it by just tap, you know, putting in your passcode to just to wake it up. It just wouldn't wake up arbitrarily by you lifting it or looking at it or what have you. You literally have to, you know, put your code in and it's and it, and it cut the, the connection to the lightning port. So let's say like they arrested me and they trying to get into my my iPhone but my iPhone's been idle for over an hour and they try to plug that machine up to it 
it's not going it's not even going to they're not even going to get a connection you know what i'm saying it's just going to be yeah why why our merch why our box ain't reading the iphone well it's on lockdown <laughs> so yeah get, get my mean, lawyer <laughs> Yeah, that's and yeah, they they definitely screwed that up. If that's what's if that's what's causing the issue, yeah, that's a that's a data thing. It's not a power thing. So, right, it's just, yeah, it's a data issue. Yeah. And um, so. I mean, I I I, I appreciate Apple looking out for rights because you know they figure yeah, just because you might you you really do need to get into somebody's phone, you can actually use that. You might be able to pull me over on a traffic stop and decide to go through my phone. You know what I'm saying, but I, I appreciate Apple having you know kind of looking out for people. I like mean, that. it'd be easy to hit you in the head and point right. your phone at you, <laughs> right? To get done a lot because punch you. Uh, yeah, snatch uh, your thumb off. Wow. Hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes. Exactly. <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> Shout out to V Worldwide. He said, "What's up, fellas? What's up, V Worldwide? What's going?" What's going on, V? He, uh, he, 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 up and coming YouTuber, man. He, you know, he did a cool video on his channel. I want to let everybody know he, he got a basketball court, you know, and he put those tiles, those rubber tiles on top of the concrete so you don't keep so much, uh, your knees don't take so much of a pounding when you're playing mm -hmm. ball. We need that for you, Rob, because you know yeah. you got the old knees, man. <laughs> Actually, my knees is pretty good. I, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, good. Yeah, I'm just saying what BG said. <laughs> BG the one got them, them eighty year old knees over there. <laughs> hey, hey man, they put your knees on blast, BG. <laughs> hey, it's not, it's not, I don't have eighty year old knees. I got a, a sixty year old gut that <laughs> makes my B knees bad. <laughs> BG knees bigger than watermelons. No, just <laughs> <laughs> he, he ice them up every day. <laughs> No, nah, but he got a good video on how he put a, put together his uh basketball court on his channel, and I was looking yeah, at it. I'm like, man, pretty cool. That yeah. was a cool video. And I was looking at it, like, I said, man, this video should have like a, a hundred thousand views because you know anybody who wants to put that type of court together, you know, you can see how it's done. So yeah, if y'all haven't subscribed to his channel, hit him up. Go to his channel. What's the channel? His his name V Worldwide. V Worldwide. He just commented in the uh. He's a, yeah, he you know he up and coming. He trying to get his game together. He got a good speaking voice. I just you know he gotta he just gotta do some more stuff. He he just he new to the game. Hey, I put it this way: if I can do YouTube, anybody can do YouTube, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Come out, See you later. Damn. Okay, you public school or Baltimore public school. <laughs> Shout out to YS two dollars. Oh, YS. Xiaomi me eight. He's the Xiaomi rep. The Xiaomi rep. <laughs> yeah, we stream for money and food, cause. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, total tech in the building. Oh, oh tech is in the building. Hey, oh, it's about to get X rated. Is it the real, real total tech? No, it's not. That's not the real one. That's not the real one. <laughs> the trolls was in here looking for him anyway. So, <laughs> all right. Bam! I love this mod stuff, dude. This is pretty fun. Oh my god! Hey, v worldwide said I'm young, tonight. unwell, and I'm an old young on YouTube. No. Uh, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, Matthew. That's right. Yeah, we. So we just move on. Hey, you know, moving on. Just moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. But yeah, that that uh that thing about Apple and everything. Hopefully they got it fixed. At least this. I mean, the one thing I can say is that the the um the software is not as buggy as last year. That is true too. Because I know a lot of people is complaining about the software being well. Now it's complaining about the batteries not charging. What else we had this year? Shit. What else? Think what else was wrong? No, no, something. Hey, I, oh, the blue, know what? the blue tin on the screen. Like, I'm, I'm a look. I'm gonna hold my phone sideways, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, damn, that's a blue." Come on, people. They tried to say it was blue tin on the XS Max. I don't see it. Oh, it, it's there. <laughs> it's there. You can see a little bit. But, but yeah, I'm it ain't. I mean, I'm not. I'm not watching my phone like this. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> who watches their phone from the side? Like, 
Come on. Yeah. Somebody um, I think some to... stuff. Yeah, I think some stuff. Once you start going through so many phones, man. Right. Like stuff become stuff start mattering to you that don't matter to somebody who's keeping the phone for a year, year and a half. No. Like some YouTubers have have a difficult time with that because they're not keeping the phone for that long. Like some stuff you you know doesn't impact your everyday life. Like if you're not looking at twelve screens a day, one that's a little more blue, you know. <laughs> it won't really matter. Now, if you got any central phone, where, where Leo at? He in the chat. Yeah, he was. He he, he oh, got man. out. Now, if you got any central phone, I feel bad for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> this phone, the second you get it off access, this this thing starts showing you just grayscale damn near. Oh my goodness! No good, because I'm bash. I'm gonna bash this essential phone every stream till Leo get on the stream. <laughs> Uh, Patrick Byam says, thank you. I mean, who holds who, <laughs> who the hell holds phone? their phones? Like nobody does. And then I mean, you <laughs> gotta take YouTube right now as a grain of salt. Like people just do shit for views, or they try to make up a reason why they gotta return the phone and because they gotta move on to the other one. I mean, I'm gonna call it out as it is, but that's what people do. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anybody who uh who has a YouTube video and they got three of the same phone up there. Like this one got it and this one don't. And look at these two. And it's like, ain't nobody really doing that. Cause <laughs> nobody buy three phones and comparing the screens like that. Now, if it's something obvious, like last year I had SA plus and they had the red 10 issue. And I mean, the screen was like blood red, like that's a legitimate thing, but don't be holding. As soon as you start holding two phones side by side and like, look at one, look at the other, ain't nobody doing that. So it, it kind of, you know, it kind of take away from the argument. But and also with Samsung, the red tint was like if you looked at it straight ahead, it still had a red tint. Yeah, too. it was red no matter how you yeah. looked at it. Yeah, there wasn't no, I mean, no the blue, in it the blue like. tint. Like I don't know, I think even Android still was trying to make a point for for the Pixel XL last year that that blue tint was fucking horrible. No matter you looked at it straight, and it was a blue tint. Yeah, you know? yeah, I mean, and if you turn it to the side, it, it looked like a Smurf, but even, <laughs> even front, I mean, it was a blue. And I know the Samsung, the red tint was when you looked at it straight ahead. The iPhone people that I've been seeing videos on, they holding their phone sideways. It's got a blue tint. Oh my god, I'm gonna make yeah. a video, y'all. I yeah, mean, and, I, I, and I think I, I guess we all take people so you can be specific. Like the Samsung screens, the red pixels were like. Like they, they were like overshadowing everything else on the phone. The screen was showing more red mm -hmm. than yeah. any other color. Like that's just a blatant. that's a difference. Yeah, it was like the the red pixels was just out of whack. Like yeah, that's I mean, and, but that's a legitimate comes. thing. You're not looking at your phone sideways and saying it's got a red tint. And yeah, you're looking straight ahead, it has a red tint. You have a problem. You send it off. If you want to make a video about it, make a video, but. I mean, come on, people. If you're looking at your phone sideways and you say it's a blue tint. Yeah, man. Right. I mean, my Note 9 has a slight blue tint when I look from its side enough. I mean, every... oh, Change your wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Can't do it. But yeah, if you have a red tint like the S9, S8 Plus or whatever it was, then yeah, I understand it. But the blue tint gate, you know, I, I, I'm going to see BG, my... One plus six T has blue tint. I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm finally out the break. I'm not even playing. Like I'm going. To, I'm coming as soon as I get the phone. I'm not even going to unbox the phone on YouTube or nothing. I'm just going to the phone, hey. charge it, and just start looking for shit. And then I'm just going to start, just hey, like, hey, damn that box gate. I need to buy a with the box because um, right already subpar um, plastic wrapping. Like, <laughs> this ain't even premium we, plastic wrap. Right. What did I pay we, for? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm with it. It's uneven. It's not the box is not aligned. The top of the box and the bottom of the box is not aligned. And when you slide them apart, it is not a smooth slide. When exactly. I get the phone in my hand. The power button is weak and it shakes. I don't know if this does this on every one plus sixteen, but the power button actually shook. I'm a zoom man. I'm a look. It moved up and down in the phone. I don't know if this is one plus quality control. When I started the phone, one plus it was, but it's it's spelled wrong. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not sure if it should be a one. The sign doesn't quite look right. I don't mm -hmm. have a lot of my pluses to compare <laughs> to, but um, yeah, I'm going mm -hmm. there. Whatever. Hey, no, plus fine gate. You're gonna have right. to buy like three <laughs> different one plus six T's and then show right. it. Look, the power button is broken on all three of these. No, right. I, I'm sorry, just two of these. And then Shaky I power <laughs> button. Shaky <laughs> power button. Come on, one plus. Exactly. <laughs> dude, make it. We will share it on Twitter. We can talk about it on our stream and everything, dude. Power button gate on the one plus sixty coming. <laughs> right. I just exactly. need to sit out. I'm gonna go to my dining room table, take a just knock everything on the floor and just sit all the phones on the table and just have the <laughs> camera in front of me. I'm even give me a fake ass jack. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? <laughs> Wow, you gotta have someone uh, to refer to because you need a cosign. Yeah, Jack thinks this power button shaky as hell, too. Right. right? This is official. This is a problem. One oh, plus. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, we yeah. are bad, y'all. We are we are gone. We we are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gadget bed said, okay. He wanna know we think that, that the uh V40 is going to sell. Gadget bed. Hell no. Does anything from LG sell? LG sell? Hell no. It's not going to sell. A couple people pick it up. And guess what? I might, now that I think about it, that might be the phone to buy just to find a fucking problem with and have, uh, you know, a camera gate. But at the same time, nobody gives a fuck about LG's phones. So I'm not going to get views like that. I got to buy that Pixel or that OnePlus 6T and find a problem with it. And make some type of gate. Hey man, I, you'll be surprised because all the views the LG phone video is gonna get, they probably can go to you if you get one. Mm. Cause ain't nobody gonna buy one. Ain't nobody don't nobody care about LG. <laughs> like you man. got this XR, like once this XR drop and this pixel drop, yeah, the internet gonna be done till the end of the year. Till it Christmas. depends on if the six T can get some hype right behind that. The 6T, I mean, it's going to get his little love, but they ain't even trying to. Right. They're trying to stay out the news. Right. As of right now, if your phone can stay out the news, right. you're doing good. Just yeah. sell it to the people that want it. Okay, so Magic Tech Reviews brought up something that we kind of skipped over. What y'all think about that, LG? <laughs> My God. Look, oh. L's galore, all right? That's what oh. LG stands for. Now watch. I that watches the silliest piece of shit I've seen on the internet in a long time. Who I watch for the screen. I really try to I screen. really try to defend defend LG, but they just added more shit to that device of this year for it to break. LG, is, I hope you got a lot of replacement devices on standby. They, they won't need that many. Ain't nobody gonna buy them. V Worldwide oh. said LG make all right TV. They're gonna have to give you a watch. To when you buy one of them things, ain't nobody gonna buy them, them watches. Them watches no, no. are garbage. They don't have to give you a TV when you buy a watch. Right. Yeah, they, they need to <laughs> they they the doing that. Y'all see the price of the, the watch? Four hundred. Four four fifty with no heart rate sensor. And no yeah. GPS either. No, no heart rate sensor, no GPS, and it's got the Snapdragon Wear 2100 from last year. The TVs gotta make up for all the money they lose with the phones and the smartwatches. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that keep them afloat. They didn't have one. I think they had one quarter in the black in a mobile division out of like twelve or thirteen quarters. Mm. One. I, I mean, I, I, I heard of a smartwatch with real. <laughs> so the thing is, though, they have they, they have, have hybrid watches. watches. They have they, yeah, yeah. They have hybrid watches, but they're done in a way where the screen displays like static information. Like if you have a notification. Right, something like that. It's not a full screen, and you right. got hands smack dab on the top of it. And yeah, I, seen a, I seen a video where the hands are blocking the information. I seen some yeah. the, the <laughs> samples. I'm like, but the thing is, like, you got to wait gotta, three o'clock to read. You got a notification. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so, the, so Rob, the, exactly the, the right terrible now. thing is, right? They thought about it. They said there's like, you know what? The hands are blocking the information. Let's dedicate a button specifically. So you can push the hands and make go, it go flat. Yeah, go to like 345. <laughs> so the hands are going perfectly across the screen. <laughs> like they thought about the fact that the hands block the screen is like, you know what? It's still a good idea. We just gonna make it the way they block less of the screen. 
Oh my god. That's why people buy a watch. <laughs> and because we so did got, that, we gotta charge more. I got a message so for my wife. Watch that can have a mechanical fail, a hardware fail, and a software fail <laughs> all in one device. Hey, <laughs> hey, look, before you take out the box, it's gonna have all three of them. Hey, I hit the button, it ain't got the right time, and the software is, is crapping out, it's locking up. Um, I mean, okay. Let's put it this way. If it came out with a new Snapdragon, if it had a heart rate sensor, if it had GPS, I think it does have NFC. Probably and so. it, it is waterproof, too. I think it is. I believe it's waterproof. Man. I think it's I waterproof, know. but and it still had the hand. I think it would be okay, but it's just it's just like blah. It's like just buy a Gear S3, not even a Galaxy Watch. Buy a Gear S3. Be done with it. I would rather go for the I rather go for the Galaxy Watch. Wow. Again, if I'm gonna spend two hundred bucks on a watch, I might as well go for the the New Year. You, you ain't know? getting no Galaxy Watch for two hundred. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, you are gonna get the the Frontier for like two hundred, two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. I would rather take that two fifty, put it towards the Galaxy Watch, and then just pay the but difference, the, man. But the Galaxy Watch got less functionality than the Gears Three, though. It, all it's missing is that. Your little speed pay thing that you love so much. Yeah, just pull man, out your, anywhere. Pull out your I love phone. going somewhere and having somebody doubt me. Just pull out your damn phone. phone. Just pull out your damn phone. No, I don't right. need to. I used to have to. Now I got the, the Gears 3. I ain't even got to pull up my phone. They're like, oh, you about to do the little tap to pay? It don't work here. Hey, YS got a question, uh, but <laughs> I want to. What's kind of funny about his question is it's part of my top five questions. So I don't know if we should answer that. We're going to wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Why yes? We're gonna wait. We see why. Mm-hmm. We're gonna wait. We're gonna, we're gonna wait. Your question for us. <laughs> and uh, hey, uh, V Worldwide said, "How does something like that even make it out the boardroom?" Pitch because ain't no boardroom. LG ain't got no boardroom. They got a dude. They got a dude sitting on the couch and <laughs> taking two sips or something and thinking up LG's product plans. And right. You know what they do? Is. You know what LG does? They do this. Hold on, let's think. We need we need ideas for the phone. Okay, hold on. We need some brain food. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. I thought hey. somebody just uh put they um put a they just reached in a suggestion box and they said okay. The room. <laughs> <laughs> a suggestion box from three year olds. <laughs> right. I don't know. Man. I mean, like I like, Eric, than... like Eric said though, they actually thought about hey, these hands might block the messages we're going to make a button that you can press it and it flattens it it goes to 345 like so, they actually thought about that man i asked so them. now it's going to require me to use two hands all the time just to check the notification on my watch i gotta you i gotta wait to 315 to tell you if i'm gonna pick you up <laughs> <laughs> so i can see the notification exactly Hold on. so you want me to figure out how to make the hands not block the screen on the display. Hold on while I figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I, need some, I need some inspiration. <laughs> Big House Production says they have a table instead of instead of like a uh, carpet table or whatever. <laughs> table. <laughs> yeah, and they got some strong. They got some strong drinks on that picnic table too. Some yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they, they need take a, you straight shots. Double shots at that. They ain't even doing no mixed drinks. Then they, they got, they, they got they fired from, everybody from. <laughs> they got Mookie from New Jack City man, come, coming up with it. <laughs> okay, what if the watch came out as like one ninety nine? Would y'all would it be a better? It's a bad watch though. No, are they giving me a TV with it? Like I don't want to have to hate. I don't want to have to hate two thirty and, and two o'clock. All right. Cause it's gonna block out my notification. It's hey, just a you terrible. Got, you got a button you could, you could get Man, it out of the way, dude. <laughs> I buy that blue phone BG had last year before I buy that that damn watch. It's a terrible product, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uno Nice has a question for Rob and for Tech Drum. I want to see what y'all say about his question right there. Oh, Frontier Three Three T. New Galaxy Watch. We're gonna buy Frontier. Uno Nights, do you use uh Samsung Pay? And yeah, that's the big, that's the that's the big is it a big is it a big deal for you to use Samsung Pay on your watch? Yes or no, then that will answer your question. Question. Yeah, 
I think between that and because the battery life thing is kind of subjective because if you're the kind of person like for me, I just go like I come home at night. I just like undress and sit everything on the charger at night. So for me, all my stuff going to be charged. And then when I get home with the Galaxy Watch, I got like 60, 50, 60 percent anyway. So if I needed to go like a weekend, I'm pretty sure I can make that happen. Um, but if better life, if you one of them kind of wilderness people, you know, you out in the woods for you know extended periods of time, and you're gonna be away from a charger, and that's important to you. Um, I don't think anything is a substitute for battery life. Yeah, Galaxy Watch got that battery life. Yeah, um, but if that don't, you know, if you're gonna charge it every night anyway, you might as well save some money and get some extra functionality in the Samsung Pay uh, MST uh, reader on there. With the why? Phone. Why? That's another thing too. Why does Samsung eliminate that? I think it uh, was. Oh, uh, go ahead. Anyway, right? Oh, I was gonna say. Technically, we're supposed to be going away from the magnetic stripe readers and going. Well, everybody else is going to like tap to pay, like in the rest of the world, but in America, we're behind. So we're still using stripes, which is extremely insecure, and even the chip and pin is insecure now. Like it's not as secure as just like tap to pay because it's you know emulating the card. Whenever you tap to pay, like it's making up a card number, so they're not actually getting your real information. But um, that's supposed to be going away. So Samsung being kind of looking at like a worldview, they were like, "Well, that's going to be an old tech. We're not going to waste the money and put it in the watch." Yeah, uh, YS asked what pay system you use on your phone the most. Well, Samsung's the best. Samsung yeah. just kick in the door no matter what you got, yeah. and everybody else is going to kind of. Um, uh, kowtow to Apple pay system. So if you either got an Apple or a Samsung, you know, it's a, you know, you're okay. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Donovan. He said that watch from LG is a joke. The price is crazy. Then he said if it's 250 they might sell some, but 450 is DOA, which yeah. is true. Yeah, 450 <laughs> is almost disrespectful. Like, what do you, LG, what do you think of me? Right. For a watch that can't do what most like a two hundred fifty dollar watch can do, right? I mean, uh, that's Have just watch. crazy. But I would, as far as pay, I use Samsung Pay all the time. Even I never set up Apple Pay, even though I have the iPhone ten. I never set it up. I don't. Yeah, Samsung Pay, man. That's you just use it everywhere. No, nobody can touch Samsung Pay. Yeah, and I hate when I if I don't have a Note and then I carry the G seven around. Mm. And I, I, yeah, I can't use it. I can't use, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Man, I ran out the house one time, forgot my wallet, ran to the grocery store, and I had my Samsung phone. That Samsung phone came through in the clutch. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Like now, oh, it's so man. funny because whenever I go to the grocery store by my house, <clears throat> at first, because it's public and so they got old terminals, at first, they was like, oh, that don't work here. And I'm like, oh, okay. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, what is that? So, of course, I had to give them the whole spiel. Oh, this is Samsung. It's only Samsung. So you're like, oh, well, I got an iPhone, and it never works. So like, it ain't going to ever work. It ain't going to work. Have the same it ain't going to work. Now, I go up there, and uh, I guess the girl, she got hit to the game because today I had to go up there. I picked up a couple of things, and I got ready to use my watch. She's like, oh, you got a Samsung? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> she was ready. She understood what was about to happen. <laughs> yeah. You know, it took them about three years two or three years to catch on to the phones doing that because yeah, yeah wow people will be looking at you like you were crazy Bro, <laughs> i i remember back the first phone that did that i remember google wallet was like in beta mm -hmm. on the nexus s 4g on sprint i had one i went to mcdonald's mm -hmm. and the girl thought i had hacked the cash register yeah oh yeah it was <laughs> like wait a minute what you do like i need to see you do that again I'm like i'm not paying for this food again you crazy <laughs> right, <laughs> like no, like look, look. I had to show her on the the terminal. Right, like it says tap to pay. Like I just use my phone. It's, I showed her the app and all that stuff. Like you, you already overstepping. Like if it say paid, you work at McDonald's. Right, like, <laughs> done. Your job is done. Your right? job done. You are, you don't own this McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. You not. I, I, I love. I, I, on, since we're talking about McDonald's, though, I love the new machines at McDonald's. You don't even have to talk to nobody. Oh, yeah, the ones, the ones in Texas, you go to a little machine, you put in your order, you pay with your phone, they give you a ticket, and they yeah. call you a ticket, you get your food, and you're gone. I don't have to talk to them. I'm like, sweet. 
Yeah, man. McDonald's coming for, for folks' neck, man, because you can, um, I don't know if you've ever been inside, <clears throat> but use a little touch screen. We got them here. Yeah, use that's a little touch screen. About. And you go sit down at your table and they bring you food. You ain't got to stand in line or nothing. Yeah. And then they got a little curbside service. Use the app, pull up, they bring you food, you drive off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, don't, problem, I, never do the cur- I never do the curbside because I just think that's lazy as fuck. But you know, yeah, man. Like <laughs> you know, like even <laughs> even like the damn grocery stuff. People like, and then everybody's wondering why America is like the fattest country in the world. But you know, it's because we have we can't even go out and get our own damn groceries anymore. We gotta wait have a minute. To us. Wait a minute. All right, I use the Walmart pickup. Oh shit. yeah, I do Kroger. Pickup. That will change your life. Look. I forget who the lady yeah, was. Don't, she was like, don't walk around the store. Don't walk I'm not around. walking around the store for two hours with no little kids. For a while, your kids grown. I, uh, you I, can I, leave had them home. I had three kids at one time. You had three, but around. if you had the option to not drag them all around the store for two hours, you probably would take that option. I right? probably would. I probably I get to pull up. <laughs> I, I get to buy. I get to buy everything. I know exactly what it's going to cost. Mm-hmm. I pull up. I sit there for like five minutes. Some nice <clears> young man and young woman comes up. Those in the trunk, and I drive off. Yep. What's up, Tech yeah. Right? What up? Tech, Tech Right, Tech right in the building. Yeah. What's up? What's going on, Tech Right? Man, these trolls are, are something else. But... Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, that grocery store pickup, man, that's a win. Yeah. I place, seen man. it happen. I was I was down Wegmans, and I seen somebody, you know, pull up, and they came Wegmans, out. Dude. That sounds like a like a pet Wegmans. Shop. Wegmans? Yeah. Yeah, like, Wegmans, but I don't know no yeah. Wegmans. Is that Wait, a Baltimore man. only thing? Uh, Wait, uh, BG, let BG tell a story. <laughs> what do you know, BG, man? I know. I was it's, just asking. I, I don't know. No, it's, 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 a, it was, it's a supermarket. It's like a Harris Teeter. And uh, but they <laughs> they do that also. Yeah, man. I mean, you just feel weird, like you going in and you know you about to drop off about an hour and a half to two hours in this store. Yeah, you getting steps in. But the thing is, somebody else pulling up, spending five minutes there doing the same thing you're doing and driving off, going home, being right. with their family or cutting the grass or, you know, doing whatever they're going to do. I don't have little kids, so that's my time away from my damn little kids. So I mean, hey. my big kids. So hey, I, understand, man. I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I like just kind of strolling up and down the aisles, you know, it, it kind of clear your mind a little bit. Right. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the five questions. Oh yeah, that time. It is now five questions. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna answer YS questions really quick. Yes, my Mi Band Three battery life is a beast. It lasts for like a almost two or three weeks. I don't, I lose track on how long I have to actually charge it. So I think I charged it twice since I made my first video. You got a Mi Band? You made a video yeah. on it? Yeah, just uh, intro. I never. I, I need to do like a review on it, but yes, yeah, it's, it's it's nice, dude. Yeah, man. We need to see shout you like, to, we need to see to you like climbing a mountain or something like that, man. Shout out to Gear Best uh, for sending it to me, but you know, damn. Oh, okay. YS said my amaze bit is crazy long. Ladies, you know the procedure. Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> YS is crazy. <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's go ahead and start the five questions. Uh, for since you're in a very talkative mood, we're gonna start with you first. Oh, <laughs> this is not hard question. These are pretty. These are pretty decent questions. What's the worst defect you ever experienced in a piece of tech? It can be a tablet, computer, phone, or whatever. Worst defect? Yeah, some bad or some build quality, anything. I bought a Dell laptop one time, mm. straight out the box, charged it up. I unplugged it, went to use it. The battery was hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it lasted for about 30 minutes and it died. And I plugged it back in. It wouldn't start up. Wow. That was wow. that was a while ago though, but yeah, that was pretty horrible. Wow. I, I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time. I could have had a battery gate slash. Right. I don't know, that shit was hot as hell, man. The, the battery just, I don't, I don't know, overheated, blue. I don't know what the hell was wrong with it. And then it died like in 30 minutes. And it was just, I just returned it though. But I, if I had a YouTube channel, I could make a, that would have been a great video. 
you'd have a famous man. You'd have had like twelve million subscribers <laughs> by now. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, it, it was a couple of years ago, like two thousand and twelve or thirteen or something, maybe. I don't know. All right. What about you, uh, Tech Gentleman? Uh, for me, it's probably a graphics card, man. I got a. I tried to upgrade my PC, my editing PC, to a like a RX four eighty or something like that. Called a crazy deal. Put the card in. Car would not work. And I mean, I did everything in my power to get it to work. Like literally, you go to the site. The site says this driver works for Windows ten. Down with the driver, and Windows ten says, I don't know what that is. <laughs> get that out of here. Like literally, it will pop up and say. I'm stopping this piece of hardware from using me right now. So that was, more, Windows that was 10. more recently? That was, this was last year. Wow. Damn. And this was like, I tried Windows 10. I even went as far, I wiped Windows 10 off the box, put Windows 7 on there, downloaded the Windows 7 driver. They had like two or three versions. Mm -hmm. None of the versions of the drivers will work on Windows 7 or Windows 10. I'm like, how the hell you make some of this don't work on Windows Man. Like, at all? Like, this is crazy. Like, it just was not working. So, Needless to say, I went over to some, uh, to an NVIDIA card and I popped it in. It was like, oh, yeah, we're going to do with that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. And yeah, I've been in NVIDIA ever since. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. BG, what about you, sir? Well, um, I had two back to back LG G4s. Um, both of them had camera defects, like back to back. You will hit the, uh, you will hit the viewfinder for the camera to focus. And what would happen was you will hear the camera actually churning <laughs> I, I guess the mechanism was messed up you camera gate, camera. Dude, camera yeah. gate. <laughs> it would turn then the screen would start to get like um you know back when you had tv with an antenna but you wouldn't get good reception the screen <laughs> would go like that and then the camera will force close wow That's yeah crazy. i had the boot loop in my g4 so that's probably the worst situation i think i had all right uh i'm gonna start with um Tech gentlemen, uh, what's the best free swag or item you got with a with a purchase? The best free swag I ever got with a purchase. Um, definitely had to be a Samsung product. <laughs> Probably the Gear VR and 128 gigabyte uh micro SD card. Okay. Yeah, that was the win right there. I remember that one. Oh yeah. U3. <laughs> what about you, BG? I would say uh the get the gear fit with my note seven. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's clutch. Yeah. And those those what about those uh, <clears throat> the Google Daydream? Did y'all y'all didn't pick y'all didn't get on that one with the pixel? Oh um, no. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I never had a pixel. Yeah, Alan had like two or three of them. Well then the LG <laughs> LG had the daydream too, right? Yeah, yeah, LG did do it too. That yeah. was yeah, that was a pretty good pickup. I don't even know where that's at. <laughs> what about you for yeah i would say the daydream for me and i don't even know where it's at i, I didn't but i i would get sick watching netflix on it yeah, just, i wouldn't even be moving and i would just sit down watching netflix and let's say i know the whole room spinning and i'm like oh and i just took it off I, yeah, I don't, things you can't watch them for too long but i mean people would play games and move around and they feel great but do netflix i would just sit there focus and i will still get sick i'm like i can't that's why i still have i still have my gear <laughs> <laughs> you know i think that's for young people young you know you the young your your brain ain't completely developed and you can probably get away <laughs> with that <so. laughs> Rob, so you only use vr if you get a brain defect <laughs> right <laughs> culture critic said his galaxy s3 screen was cracking on its own Man, that's messed up. Yeah, that's tough, man. Yeah, hey, uh, Donovan said that it reminds him of his G2 that had a, the entire section of the screen that didn't work. <laughs> Why? Uh, that's that point. Oh, man. <laughs> Since we exchanged in LG stories, the LG uh, G3, <laughs> one of the first phones in the States with a 2K screen, the phone was unusable because you would take it out your pocket to use it, and it was like, when I was in your pocket, I was overheating, so <laughs> I'm gonna throw my throttle. And I'm also gonna dim the screen. I know you outside in bright sunlight, but you ain't gonna be able to see me for a while. So <laughs> good luck. I'll, I'll holler at you later. <laughs> exactly. Every time you pull it out, the I hadn't even been using you. 
You hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, let's get to question three. BG, this is you, my, my brother. Now, since we talk about the best, what's the worst that, you know, what's the worst free thing you got that you just looked at and was like, man, they could have kept this? The worst, wow, I, I probably wouldn't even think about this. I can't even really think of the worst free thing that I have received. Um, goodness. I'm going to say, I say it, though, because, the, you know, really, like, the only, them, uh, I'm not going to lie, those headphones I got with my Note 9, <laughs> I feel like, yo, why do those headphones look so big in the pictures? Like, I thought they were like some big, brolic headphones. Like, them headphones are tiny as hell. You know what I mean? Like, when I first seen the pictures of them uh, AKG headphones, I'm like, all right, cool, nice, big, you know what I mean? Past 30 headphones. You know, man, <laughs> them shits are like, here go the air. Them shit. <laughs> you said past 30 headphones, good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. Then it was like, oh. Then the worst part is they like really fix you out because they had them on the, on that website for like okay they're two ninety nine but they on sale for one ninety nine. So I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, that's rough, man. Because the ones that came to know they is uh they nice. Yeah. Oh man, what about you, Forbes? I mean, it's not the worst thing, but. Like BG said, the AKG headphones, they've been sitting over here in my room, but I don't know when I got this, but the Gear 360, I mean, it's probably a great little camera, but I don't use it. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I tried it, it looked okay, and then I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't, I don't, I don't think it's a great little 360 camera, but I think that's probably one of the worst ones. The yeah. headphones are probably second, though, because... I don't like on the ear headphones. They just hurt after a while or something. Yeah. yeah. Donovan said he still ain't got his. Don't worry, Donovan. <laughs> you ain't missing much. <laughs> <laughs> what about I, I, you? I say, I, hey, I sell you mine for $299. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Forbes, Forbes, you nice. You ain't going to charge tax, man? Wow. No, no tax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, you really looking out. <laughs> Hey, I got I gotta support my Michigan fan up there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey Eric Kelly, uh, what about you, sir? Worse. Um uh, that's tough. I'd have to say the gear VR just because I don't know, this is not usable. Oh, okay. He says not like the fact you gotta get a new one every year, like every phone they come out with, they redesign the phone and you gotta get a different gear VR. It's like after a year is useless. I get a new phone. I'm ready. Got the nice crispy screen and all that stuff. And you know, it, my phone don't fit in the gear VR I got, so it's kind of useless now. All right. The next question is kind of similar to what uh, YS kind of wanted to know. He asked us about um, cases, and uh, my question is, um, what's your favorite go-to clutch case? Not, not you know, you know, one that you paid for, not one that was given to you, but like if you, you know, when you got your daily driver, I'm gonna start with you for what's your. I mean, yeah. is there only cases I pay for? Cases. Well, I mean, all right, we'll go. I, 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 really, don't, I, I really don't pay for. It, it means it means <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, yeah, okay. It uh, <laughs> it means it might mean a little bit more if you pay for it, but you could pick anything, whether it's. Pay for I mean, or given? Right now it's UAG and uh, Rinky. Uh, I I think I left that as a comment for one of my videos. Is Rinky and UAG? Or I've been rocking with those right now. Like on my Note Nine, look, look at that crimson. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. You know. So and then on the iPhone 10, I've been using the Rinky Fusion one. And then Subcase too. That Subcase Pro is is a heavy duty one. If I go outside, if I'm Go and walk it. Well, I don't really walk a trail too much, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> one time if, if we decide to go on a trail, I might put it in there just for extra protection. All right. You know, but yeah, Rinky and uh, UAG for me. All right. What about you, Forbes? You just said Forbes. I mean, Forbes. <laughs> I mean, um, hey, I mean, BG, you're not lying. BG <laughs> is, is mine. My, my dimension. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> dimension kicking in. I, I, 
I got it bad. My grandmother used to do that too. And there were so many of us, she'd just say, Oh, uh, Robert, uh, that, you, you know who I'm talking to. Come here. <laughs> Dude, I, I do that now with my kids. I'm like, you. Joey, get, get, get your butt over here. <laughs> BG. Yeah, I'm um most well, it's like for Apple, I'm rocking with the Apple cases. Um, like the silicone and the leather cases with Samsung. Um, either it's UAG or out of box, depending on what I'm doing that day. If I'm going to be out and about, I, I like, I still like an out of box, you know, I'm old school like that. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Miss Kelly? Uh, for me, the case that I've been in love with is this, uh, Pataka case. It's uh super thin and light, but it's also got a, uh, basically like a metal plate in it. So I got the uh, magnetic mount of my car. I can drop my phone on there. It attaches wirelessly and it charges. But outside of this, I I, I agree with four of the rinky cases have been clutched. They've been real nice. Um, I think that's about it, man, as far as cases go. Oh, but, also but, on the Samsung devices. Uh, check, gentlemen. What up now? I said, who but D says that's not a case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It don't look like a case, man. But it um, it's one of those thin and light joints, man. It's real nice though. It's it's like, actual carbon like, fiber. This ain't like, like a sticker. Like a D brand skin, dude. <laughs> exactly. So I like to rock my stuff, you know, damn near naked. And I usually end up throwing a D brand skin on here. Like the, I got the leather on my Note Eight right now. Yeah. But this that's why I love this case so much because it doesn't add a lot of bulk, especially when you rocking phones with you know these big old phones already. You're not. I'm not yeah, trying to throw no huge case. And then they feel, you know, feel good in the hands. They've designed them to where they're ergonomic and all that stuff. I can pop this on. And then you get the added benefit of I can just magnetically mount it to a, you know, a charger in my car so it's wirelessly charging. Right. That's that's, dope. that's why I like this case. If I can get one for every phone I got, I would. But also, man, the first party, first party cases, I know at least from Samsung and OnePlus, I've been impressed with those. Yeah. Samsung, they had a little, a little extra functionality, the LED cover and the S view cover. And then yeah. OnePlus, uh, on the OnePlus 6, that was my first OnePlus device. All their cases were phenomenal. Yeah, the OnePlus, nice. the OnePlus cases are nice, man. Yeah. And the screen yeah. protector, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, that was a good package. All right. And I'm going to close it out with, uh, this is just a regular uh, debate question. I don't know oh. if you want to call it a barbershop question. I don't know if you want to call it just, a, it's just a little fun. Tell me your top three or five comedians. Um, I mean, I, BG, I know that woke you up. Go ahead, BG. I, BG's like, I'm up. <laughs> Give me your top comedian. Uh, like, if you bought a ticket, he's gonna say Richard Pryor. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, can they be alive or dead, or what's the they, deal? You know what? I thought about it saying. Like can we pick they a had to have a comedy. I was gonna put a thing like you haven't had a comedy special within the last five years. You know, I, I started to narrow it down because I didn't yeah. want to go too old school because we got kind of a young crowd. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I don't know they have Netflix it. and YouTube. They can they can Google it or period. <laughs> you yeah. know, to find yeah. out. Yeah, let's spread let's spread the knowledge, man. Let's let all them right, know. All right. Well, come on, BG. Give me your top three or five, whoever you want to how many you want to name. My bro, I like uh Kevin Hart is not number one. Uh, <laughs> my book. So you said they can't they, they you said any comedians, right? Yeah, anybody. Go ahead. All right. I like I like Bernie Matt. Um I, I, I like Earthquake. Okay. And then uh number four, I say Chappelle. All right. Like now briefly, real quick, do you remember a skit or story they told you was like a signature one? Or oh, earthquake. Uh, like earthquake, the one he always cracked me up on when he talking about um when he uh when he was telling somebody uh no one time and he told him he, he did a civil rights no. <laughs> you're like no <laughs> like you sound like martin luther king <laughs> yeah. well see earthquake hey. earthquake does tell good stories i like him yeah yeah he's a storyteller donovan said yeah. Chappelle. who about d said robin harris or dl ugly yeah pretty funny robin mm -hmm. yeah Chappelle for the win chris rock 
Oh yeah, Andrus, yeah. And, Andrus, <laughs> Eddie Eddie Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> All right, let me go to uh, uh, Mr. Eric Kelly. Who your top three or five? Um, I, I definitely got to start out with uh, with Richard Pryor. Um, I think That's he kind of. I kind of. It's it's hard to watch a, you know, any other kind of more modern big comedians and I see him in them, um, like Eddie Murphy or, um, you know, just like, I don't know, Richard Pryor definitely is number one. Uh, number two, probably got to be Dave Chappelle, just the way that he set up his his punchlines and his his jokes is is crazy. And then number three, I don't know, I got to give it to Kevin Hart, man. Like, he made me laugh even when he probably not doing intentional jokes. Like, he just funny to look at. <laughs> Kevin Hart is in concert in Detroit tonight down at Little Caesars Arena. <laughs> well, I bet he charging an astronomical fee to get up in that thing too. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah Kevin. Kevin Hart's pretty good. All right, for um, like Tech German said, Richard Pryor, and I like and Andrew Dice Clay, old school. Uh, Roger Dangerfield. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Eddie Murphy, yes. Cat Williams. Oh yeah, I forgot about Cat. Yeah, Cat. Yeah. Chris oh, Tucker is pretty is. funny. Um, who else? I mean, I would say Richard Pryor, dude. We grew up on Richard Pryor and and uh, Dane, uh, whatever. Uh, Andrew and Andrew Dice Clay. Richard first- Richard Pryor is good when you're reminiscing about some stuff and you know, and and Eddie kind of falling into that that mold. I like Chris Rock. Cause Chris, he tells relatable stories. Yeah, yeah. And his jokes, he tells you about marriage. How you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. He's good at politics. He can hit hit you in all hit you all the right spots. Yeah. So, uh, hey, who who's the one that got hurt? <laughs> he said, pause. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's who's the one that got hurt? Like hit by a Walmart truck or something? That was um, Tracy Morgan. Oh, he. Oh he's, yeah. He's funny too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I like Tracy Morgan too. Mm-hmm. Cat Williams is funny. Cat Williams tell a good story, like when he tried to ride a motorcycle and he was the motorcycle yeah, was too Cat, big. <laughs> Cat Cat is hilarious, man. Yeah, he, he's a, he's hilarious. Uh, my my wife, she's still in the chat. She rocking with us. She said Paul Mooney. Paul, Paul Mooney is hilarious. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like one, like a grandfather uh, of comedy yeah. too. Oh yeah, we'll say Patrice O'Neill. Oh yeah, yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, Chris R. O'Neill, man. Chris O'Neill. Now, for yeah. you would like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He right up your alley because he, he don't care right he'll he'll what he said. Like a Bernie Mac style, but he ain't as yeah. loud as Bernie though. Yeah, he's no. loud, but he gonna say some. He gonna, yeah, say, he gonna some. say some wild stuff. Yeah, he gonna say <laughs> some wild <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I think who said David Chappelle too? Yeah, I mean David Chappelle. Yeah. Was, Chappelle is good. Chappelle's thought provoking. He one of the thought provoking type of comedians. Him and Chris Rock, they tell yeah. good stories. Now I like the uh that little white guy too, that one that does uh you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh Jeff Foxworthy. Jeff yeah, Foxworthy. It's pretty funny yeah. sometimes. I mean, hasn't yeah. I don't know, has he done anything lately? But I don't, I don't, I don't think know. so. A lot of them guys on the tour, I like the him and the other guy who always be in the suit drinking the scotch or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Funny too. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Will. Thanks for the four ninety nine super chat, Eddie well, Murphy. Bernie oh, yeah. shut off the wheel. Prior oh, yeah. and uh, Cat Williams. Oh yeah, hey, I respect Don, that. Donovan yeah, said respect Jerry that. Seinfeld. Seinfeld tells good stories. He's a great storyteller. Yeah, he's a great storyteller, and he does this. He, it's just simplistic the way he does it. Oh you know, yeah, the way he does it. He's got a good delivery. Hey, uh, Miss Kelly says, "Here's your sign, guy." Yeah, <laughs> and, isn't that Jeff Foxworthy too? Does he, oh, do, does he do that? Or is that one of the other guys on that tour? I think that's one of the other guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. I believe. Dimitri Martin. He's one of them young guys. Super dry. I think I've seen him on Comedy Central once or twice. My, now, name somebody you don't like. Somebody oh. who I don't like? Yes. Uh, who's that white guy? Oh, I hate that guy. God. Oh, fuck. I don't remember his name. Somebody I don't like. I don't know. This is gonna be rough. I usually turn them off. Yeah. Dang, dang. Is it Dan Cook? Yeah. Oh, uh, is he the guy who be like in the center? Like he'd be like in the center of a stage and Dane like. Cook. I don't. I don't like real slapstick 
kind of like physical comedy. Oh, yeah, really. I, I think I think Dane Cook, uh, dude, he, people will laugh at that dude. Just I don't like his. Ah, uh, just <laughs> no, <laughs> he ain't funny. I, I don't like yeah. I don't like him at all. Yeah, he real big too. Yeah. yeah, he is, and people love him, but <laughs> he's that Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve ain't funny. Steve, Steve Harvey is funny when he's not doing stand up. Like hey, in, on, in, a, on a, in a regular conversation, he's funny, but like as far as just getting up there and telling jokes, yeah, he ain't been funny to me. He just I, I, I love watching him on Family Feud every day. He's pretty funny on yeah, that. he's great <laughs> with stuff like that, like impromptu, like yeah. just make, taking a regular everyday situation and making it funny. Yeah, he's good at that because yeah. it's the because it's delivery. It's kind of it, he's just funny. Yeah, but, Shout um, to Eddie Griffin, Eddie Griffin. Yeah, Eddie Griffin not funny to me. Yeah. He's not funny, you. <laughs> Steve Harvey's TV funny, yes, he is. Sean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but um, that, yeah. that that does it for the five questions. Five questions brought to you yeah. by Team One Hundred. Hey, that actually that was a great question, Rob, because we got interaction with our fans. We, you know, we talked some smack. That yeah. was a good question. Uh, I like that one. And we and, and we changed the subject too. We didn't just sit there and talk tech all the time. So yeah, it, was just, it was something fun. It was just something fun to do. I was I thought about that question. So yeah, I knew Shaw was gonna have an issue with me saying Eddie Griffin wasn't funny. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not funny. Man. TK Kirkman is funny. Yeah, he too. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Eddie Griffin is the, oh. is the is the is the 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 Android equivalent of HTC. <laughs> okay. Of comedians, he the HTC of comedians. <laughs> uh, yeah. Damn, what's that guy's name? The one that passed away, killed himself. God rest his soul. Oh, Robert Williams. Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I forgot about him too. He, he, he used was, to write for Richard Pryor. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, and he was he was a good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. And he's from, and he from Detroit. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Let's go, Big Blue. Hey, Blue's gonna win tomorrow, Rob. Man, that's not even. That's practice tomorrow. That's practice. All right. <laughs> <That's> practice <tomorrow. laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, Sean knows all in his feelings. Uh, Tech German. <laughs> wow, man, you really did something. He might be related to Eddie Griffin. <laughs> he put like, wow, is Eddie Griffin his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who's funny to Eddie Griffin? Didn't you hear what B said? Eddie Griffin is the HC yeah. of comedians. Yeah, he 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 about third string, man. Uh, Yo, you know who I found out? I just the name just popped in my head who I hate. Carlos Mencia. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think the last thing I saw from him. He's, he's not that funny either. He's do that dee dee dee. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, he's not funny either. Dude. But I think Dane Cook for me is takes it. Carlos, yeah, like blah, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get ready to shut it down because I don't want BG to fall asleep on us in the stream over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he perked up a little bit when you said comedian. Yeah, but he got a lot of nerve talking about I got dementia and he over there. <laughs> he got narcolepsy working on him right now. <laughs> You do not understand these godly hours that I wake up in the morning. <laughs> these ungodly, let me say these ungodly hours. Oh, okay. And I, I volunteered for overtime tomorrow. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. dude. There you go. Okay. Hey, you got to buy that Pixel 3 XL, dude. Yeah, I got to get that OnePlus 16. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> They, they still dropping the comedians. We got yeah, Gary Goldway. Brown said George Lopez ain't funny. No, I don't think he's that funny. And Bobcat Goldway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew Stud said Brian Regan. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Leave it to the bring up <laughs> the essential of comedians. No, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. damn That's fire. There's a lot of blood right there. <laughs> Somebody said carrot. Coach Critic said carrot top. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all getting stupid now. Whoa, whoa, Sean O, Sean O. Oh, he said Tracy Morgan ain't even funny, except for certain yeah. movies. Hey, I, I, I'm not really a big Tracy Morgan fan. Tracy either. Morgan's is funnier than Eddie Griffin, dude. He's hilarious. Yeah, I can't fight with that. Tracy I mean, Morgan is funnier than Eddie Eddie Griffin, Sean O. Take his hey, take his mod status away with that comment. 
You know? Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Still keep dropping these essential. <laughs> <laughs> Still oh, dropping his homeboy so name. Man. Maniscato. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can't say his name, then it, it, uh, yeah. Bray <laughs> Romano. Bray <Ray> Romano. <laughs> He's okay. But yeah. Maryland isn't terrible, but at the big house, it shouldn't be much of a game. Yeah, Donovan. Ho- hopefully not, man. Yeah. Hopefully not. Oh, man. Tony, Tony, Tony nothing. Android stud Tony Lopez. He he dropping all the guy who was, you know, on the dropping his homies, man. Coming yeah, the... out of Miami or something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the local the local comedians in San Antonio are pretty. I know a couple of them. They pretty they pretty damn funny too. Oh look, I'll tell you this as far as uh, I guess less famous guys, but they deserve to be famous. Uh, Kev on stage. Yeah, he funny. Kev on yeah, Tony Baker. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and my wife went to see them when they came here to Huntsville, man. Mm. Dying laughing the whole time because yeah, those dudes are hilarious. Uh, we seen my man, um, that kid that be on um, Wilding Out, DC Fly. Oh, DC, DC Young Fly? DC yeah. Young Fly. We seen him in Detroit. He's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Super we chat. trying to change hey, the subject. What, 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 what the Okay, but no, I'm not even watching that bullshit either. <laughs> uh, I might like check it out. McGregor going win. <laughs> Damn, I don't even like his show myself, Ray Moran. Will and Six Six Lewis always talking about fighting on in our uh, group me chat. Yeah, you know. Oh uh, yeah, just hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> she, Michael Blackson. She, she all right. Michael Blackson is hilarious. He's underrated. Yes. Yeah, He's underrated. Yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> kind of going to get that. Android stuff says. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we like to thank everybody. <laughs> thank everybody. It's still coming in. They fire on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You touched the nerve on that one, man. Yeah, well, it was it was a fun conversation. We we're gonna try to have some some more. Another <laughs> whatever. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh sign off. We like to thank everybody for showing up in the uh, chat. For another team 100 we appreciate you guys um i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the outro i'm gonna start with uh bg let him go first tech and then forbes and i'll close it out go ahead bg everybody know what they can find oh, okay okay um, it's me all right it's like now i'm doing <laughs> but um uh yeah it's in my bg tech life thanks for watching guys um you can find me on instagram bg tech life is simple on instagram uh, you can find me on Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. I also have a YouTube channel where I do accessories and some of the newest devices and some of the things that's trending in tech. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash BG Tech Life, guys. Feel free to subscribe. Um, you can reach out to me uh, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You know, I'm a regular guy. Uh, I, even though I appear in front of you as a YouTube superstar. But um, yeah, that's, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> is it me or yeah, okay. yeah. Oh. hey everyone uh this is joseph from forest tech reviews it's been fun shout out to the replay crew if you're watching this i uh, hopefully you enjoyed it if you're in the stream now hopefully you enjoy team 100 you can follow me on twitter at forbes reviews instagram at forbes tech reviews hit me up too and i will definitely not hit you back because i don't know how to do instagram that good but you know, if you want to follow me on Twitter too, I know how to do that pretty good. So, yeah, just follow us, Team One Hundred. It's been fun again. Love talking tech to every with everybody. So, yeah, peace. All right, Mr. Kelly, what's going on, everybody? This is Eric Kelly, aka the Tech Gentleman. Hit me up on YouTube at the Tech Gentleman, Instagram at the Tech Gentleman, and also on Twitter at the underscore Tech Gent. Talking about tech, phones, tablets, accessories headphones you name it man we're talking about it and i am your host uh rob pouncey uh you can follow me at rp3 tech reviews on youtube also on instagram at rp3 underscore tech reviews you can also follow me on twitter at rp roman numeral three tech uh again thanks everybody for uh, sticking around with us uh 
kept it over 20 strong. So I should see 20 likes, thumbs up. But anyhow, we appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you for another Team 100 stream. Make sure y'all hit that like button before y'all hit and exit. So, hit that like button. Peace. Peace, everybody. We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.